Welcome to the O'Brien Shade Basics, Camera and Flash. In this video, I want to start out with some of the components of taking great photographs. For the sake of stating the obvious, 35mm film is still a great format, but for what we're doing, go digital. The ease, convenience, and accuracy of information transfer is a must. You want a digital single lens reflex or DSLR camera. There's a lot of exciting technology out there for photography, but DSLR is everywhere, reasonably priced, and does a fantastic job. So why a DSLR? These cameras have a larger image sensor than phones or point-and-shoot cameras, and that gives you a much sharper image and greater color accuracy. And this allows us to blow the picture up to a much larger size without the photo becoming grainy or losing color quality. Here's a great setup but any similar system will serve you well. This is a Nikon D7000 SLR body, a Nikon 105mm micro zoom lens, and a Nikon Speedlight flash. This particular camera holds two SD memory cards for a ton of storage and ease of data transfer. Whatever make of camera body you choose, it needs to give you the versatility of a manual override on the exposure, for reasons that I'll outline in a moment. It also needs to be able to accept a true macro, micro lens. Now the use of these two words can be a little confusing. Nikon calls them micro, Canon uses macro. All it means is that it allows you to get very, very close. Don't be confused by close-up photography claims because it isn't the same. Get a true macro, micro lens because you want to fill the frame with a very small subject like a tooth and have everything you want in sharp focus. For a flash, we use a dual source light instead of a ring flash as we find it minimizes glare off the teeth or the shade tab. And the need for a manual setting and the ability to override the automatic exposure of a camera becomes apparent when looking at what happens in many photos. Automatic exposure adjusts itself to objects in the frame other than the teeth or the shade tabs, skin tone, beards and mustaches, bright or dark gloves and such. Automatic exposure will adjust to darker objects in the frame and the result is that the teeth and the shade tabs will be overexposed and washed out. And here also is the need for true macro photography rather than just close up. All you want in the frame are teeth, tabs, and tissue. So again, here are the tools of choice. A quality digital SLR camera, a true macro micro lens, and a dual source flash. Take some time, learn the basics, and watch your photography jump to the next level. I'm Mitch for O'Brien Dental Lab. We'll see you next time.